It's another trailblazer timeout to discuss the second New Japan Cup match that happened today, March 10th, this morning early on New Japan World. And folks, I told you I loved Yoshihashi versus Kyle Davis. Well, if I love that, I'm obsessed and lustful and rolling on the floor having conniptions over the next one. I, I don't know. Stronger than love, baby. Aaron Hanare versus Shingo Takagi was awesome. It, it, it was so good. I think it could tend for my match of the year. I do at this point. There's so much time left in this year. I don't know if it'll hang around at the top or not, but right now I loved it this much. This was two big men, but they're both quick and agile, so this wasn't slow in plotting. It wasn't, even though they're two big men. I mean, they're not Brock Lesnar size, but they're two large men, both aggressive. And this match, this is what I loved about it. It looked like a damn fight. You know what I'm saying? It didn't look like a cooperative dance. It didn't, didn't look like a choreographed routine. This looked like two guys in a fight. There were few to no false finish until, until the very end, until the last couple of minutes where several were thrown in. This, there were very few pinfall attempts during this match until the end. These guys just fought. And now they used wrestling holds and maneuvers. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't just fisticuffs. But this was everything I think a wrestling match should be. I mean, Aaron Hanare has been moving up. I mean, ever since joining the United Empire, the most powerful faction in New Japan, I believe, one of the most powerful and best factions in the world, I think they possibly have surpassed Bullet Club in regard to being powerful. Uh, in regard to being winners, in regard to being seen as a faction you should step back, look at, and respect, and bow down to. And Aaron Hanare looked great here. So did Shingo Takagi. Takagi has won this cup before. He is a former IWGB champion. He, This guy's wrestled all over the world, held more titles than I can count. He is a legend. He is amazing. He's one of my favorites. He really is and always has been. But Aaron Hanare is showing me something. He is looking like I don't know who to compare him to, guys. I mean, he's really, really good. Super powerful. Pretty technical. No Zack Sabre Jr., but he's pretty technical. And just can go nose-to-nose, toe-to-toe with just about anybody. He proved here winning the match against Shingo Takagi. Amazing. Incredible matchup. Absolutely must see New Japan World. Subscribe just to see this match and then cancel if you want to. This is awesome. Hanari kicked out of Made in Japan at the end of this matchup, which was incredible. He wins it with the Streets of Rage Slam, similar to an Olympic Slam from Kurt Angle. This means all six members of the United Empire have advanced into the New Japan Cup second round. There are only 16 wrestlers who advanced here. Six of them are United Empire members. That is impressive as hell and tells you that their odds of winning this are high with six out of 16 being in the next round. Go out of your way to see this match. Like I said, I absolutely loved it. Contender for match of the year so far for me. Well, like I said, will it hang around? We'll have to wait and see, but watch it.